Good morning, friends, and welcome to Vlogmas Day 4. Good morning, friends. It is a little bit later than usual. It is 6.30. I slept in a little bit just to give my body a little bit of a break. My throat feels a little bit better this morning. It's still pretty scratchy, but it feels better. Today, I have a lot of errands to just catch up on and all the things. We have a Williams-Sonoma order that should be ready today for pickup. And yeah, um, I'm a little stuffy still, but this morning we are going to make some real tea and I'm going to do like a little bit of extra lemon and honey just to give my throat a bit of a break. And that's how we're gonna start our day. The Amber Gretel candle is so good, by the way. I'm so lucky she sent it to me. Um, I actually am all caught up on Christina's Vlogmas. I went to, I stayed up a little later than usual and I caught up on some Vlogmases. But I'm gonna do the Twinnings lemon and ginger and I'm actually gonna go do two tea bags. And then I'm gonna go get some honey. Over at our little coffee station, this is kind of our setup. So these are amazing. I will link these for you because people ask about them all the time. I got them from Amazon when we did our whole coffee bar over here, um, but I love it. And then this tea kettle, it heats up so fast and you can set the temperature of exactly what you want. It's great for also pour over coffees and it just like looks super stylish. And I love that it's matte because it doesn't show fingerprints, but I love, love, love this tea kettle. All right, I need to go find my honey so that I can make my tea. I have a fire going. I'm gonna curl up here and just relax. It is our first Vlogmas footage in the car. Um, I'm actually just testing out a mount and a camera and all of those things, but I haven't done anything in the car. This new camera is literally about this little bit larger than a postage stamp. So I'm excited to see how the audio is, how the sound is, but I love it because the mount doesn't interfere with me being able to see. I don't really have to think about it. And we need a decent car camera because I pack tonight. I have to get to Philly and I'm gonna be doing some work in Camden, New Jersey. And I'll be staying in Philly because it's right across the bridge and I can't find a flight to there and back that works within the schedule that I need it to be. So I am driving tomorrow afternoon to Philly and then driving back Tuesday night. So Vlogmas is going to be us hanging out in the car a little bit over the next um, two days. I am gonna pre-film some things. I asked for some flexibility with the upload times because I don't know what those will look like yet. But you guys have been really understanding. I know a lot of vloggers choose to film like days in advance. Like some people have actually been filming since after Thanksgiving and now we're just uploading them and eventually you catch up. But I don't know, for me, I have only ever done Vlogmas since 2018. Is it 2018 or 2017? I have always done Vlogmas as record, edit, and upload on the very day that it is. So my day one is your day one. I've just always done it that way. It is the hardest way, I think, to probably do Vlogmas. But for me, that feels the most authentic because I want it to be the same day as us. And I don't like when we're talking about days, but it was like, four days ago. So that is what I have always done. If you don't know, this, you should be giving so much love to content creators because getting through Vlogmas, there are many who don't, but it is really truly a feat um, to get through and not miss a day. And I think I have done 
I think I've had to upload two on one day just because I got home so late for something. But I don't think in the five years I've done it, I've ever missed a day, which is kind of remarkable. Now, some days were like seven minutes long. However, I've never missed a day. I was actually super surprised when going back and looking at the footage last night that it was almost 30 minutes. Like all my first three days were over 20 minutes a piece. I was super proud of that because sometimes you're like, oh, do I have enough content? And then you get into the editing and you're like, great, this is perfect. The other thing is to get 30 minutes of content, I've probably recorded three hours. So it's all, it's just a lot, but it has become one of my traditions you have welcomed me into your home, so it's one of your traditions. I've gotten so many um, comments about how this is a tradition for you and that you watch it with your kids or you talk to your girlfriends about it or you watch it with your partner. It makes my heart so stinking happy because the only reason I have ventured into this world is because I want to build connection. I know for all the joy this season brings, it also brings some really tough challenges for some people. So I just love the fact that I can be there in some capacity to fill a little bit of a space. So thank you because none of this exists without you. And I'm glad that anything big or small resonates with you from this channel and my content. I am gonna run and get groceries. I'll share with you what I get, but it's not gonna be my normal grocery haul. Typically I would meal plan. However, three of the five days this week, I will be traveling. So it doesn't make sense to buy a lot of ingredients that maybe won't keep through the week. So I'm gonna go to Trader Joe's because Steven loves a lot of their frozen stuff so that he has meals that he can easily throw together. It's just going to be a really hectic time. This will probably be the busiest I've been with work during Vlogmas. Like I was working on the weekend, I'm traveling I think three, three or four days in the next two weeks for work. So it's just gonna be a little bit different than past Vlogmases where I've had two weeks off during the process and that's just not going to be the case this year. I'm gonna get to Trader Joe's, I'm gonna sing at the top of my lungs, even though my throat's a little sore, and then we will catch up. Hi, doggies. Hi. Do you have, does everyone have to go outside? Where's daddy at? All right, let's go outside. Everyone do your business. Do not run. Oh, Bubby is peeing on the patio. It won't make you a... Uh, Hi. Do you have to go do your business? No, because you'll do it in daddy's office later. Um, so I'm just back from Trader Joe's. Everyone was talking about these shoes. These are golden gooses from last year, but I call them my Christmas shoes because of the green lenses. They're just <laughs> lenses. The green laces are so cute. All right, let's go back inside, doggies. So, yes, I'll give you cookies. I don't know why I gave you a cookie. You didn't do anything. All right, so picked up a couple things to make sure Steven is all set for the week, just giving him some different options because I don't know what he'll want. They had a roasted garlic and pesto pizza with a deep fried crust. It sounds delicious also these are the best bags ever i'll link them they're by a company called bagu they wash amazingly well they hold so much and then i got some brussels sprouts i'm gonna use some raw in a salad and then also use some for dinner tonight we're having a brie um some braised beef roast and then I am going to add like a side of this really good gnocchi from Trader Joe's. I keep my Brussels sprouts in this antique dough bowl. So we'll use some of those raw, some of those will be cooked. I got this for lunch today, this harvest apple salad. It's spring mix, cheddar cheese, apple cinnamon chips, and pecans with an apple vinaigrette. 
I got some cucumbers to snack on. These are my new favorite avocados. I can never get through an avocado, so these are tiny, teeny tiny avocados. I bought Steven to snack on some everything bagel chips because he puts it on literally everything, no pun intended. I'm going to be baking cookies with all of you, but I bought these for now to put in the cookie jar. I just wiped that out this morning. Some sourdough bread. I got myself some pickle chips. I got these to try. I feel like they'll be delicious with a glass of Pinot Noir. Dark chocolate and peanut butter stuffed dates. Like, can't handle it. I got Steven an option for like a red curry bowl, a peanut saute. I also got two cups of ramen, just in case he wants that. And then I stocked up on our go-to pot stickers. I'm going to do the Brussels sprouts and also this gnocchi as a side. We got some broccoli to snack on, some milk. I got Steven a frozen burrito instead of going to Chipotle. And then I did get myself some grilled chicken. I just like to buy it already done to throw on that salad for lunch today. So that is my little mini grocery haul. I'm gonna get all of this put away really quick. I am making some toast. I have really enjoyed making my toast in the skillet lately. Just gets like, I don't know, I feel like I have more control over it. And then a couple of you asked me because you saw it in the video to tell you about this. This is our Amazon Show 15. What's great about it is like, you can write notes. You can have your shopping list, your to-do list, the weather, your calendar, all the things. Um, it streams YouTube, you can go through everything. I just really like it. This is the picture I have on it right now. Highly recommend, it's a great gift, and I think they have it on sale. It was like almost $300, and now it's down to like 160. At least that's what it was when I got it. So, really great deal. Also, you have cookies in here now. So, where, um, where are the uh, safety pins? They're upstairs in the top drawer. Oh. All right, my toast is toasting. The dogs are dogging. Steven is safety pinning something. I think I've shared in the past, like you have to heat up a tortilla on the stove if you're using them and heating them up. It just hits different. I have found that toast in a skillet just hits different. So I'm gonna have some toast because I haven't eaten yet today. I wanna get a workout in. We have a brow appointment at 12. I'm waiting for William Sonoma to tell me my pickup order is ready. We have some deliveries coming. It's all the sings, doggies. I'm so glad you're feeling bad, or You had bad coughs last night, too. Bad coughs. It is 11.20. I worked out for like 70 minutes. I did some strength training, and then I'm not ready to run yet on my treadmill, but I did a really good walk. So that felt really good to just get moving. I wore my brace on my knee and had a couple little issues, but it felt good to felt good to move it. I am right now running to Williams Sonoma. I'm really lucky. Williams Sonoma is about two minutes from my house, maybe four minutes if we're more realistic. Um, and I have a pickup order there. And then I'm hoping by the time I find parking, get into Williams Sonoma. I also want to look at the special edition KitchenAid mixer they have. I have looked at it online multiple times, I've added it to my cart multiple times, but I need to see the color in person to know if I really like it. It is like a sagey green and the bowl is copper. It is beautiful online, but I need to see it in person and they have it in stock. So I want to check that out and then I need to run up to Christina at the spa. She is my facialist, but she also does my eyebrows. So I have like a quick 15 minute appointment. I just had my eyebrows done like maybe four weeks ago. So she's just going to clean them up, touch them up. We already like the shape and everything. So I have that. So today actually feels really, really good. I also did like a little self tanner last night to just like give myself a little color. I decided this weekend to 
do some things for myself that I kind of have put on the back burner. So manicure, self tan, I did teeth whitening and I will share the teeth whitening I'm using from Burst and share a link because I have struggled with those teeth whitening strips. Some make my teeth very sensitive. They don't stay on. Burst makes whitening trays that are unbelievable. Burst is all of Stephen and I's dental, um, I don't know what to call it, equipment. So we have their water picks, we have their toothbrushes, we replace our brush heads all the time. We use their whitening trays. I am obsessed with them and it's all thanks to an amazing subscriber and friend, but she shared information with me. I'm gonna have it all linked below for you. But their whitening trays are the absolute best that I have come across. So I did that. Um, and I moved my body this weekend, so it feels really, really good. Speaking of moving your body, I have some exciting news. So you guys have all seen, heard, especially if you follow me on Instagram about my best friend, Laura. So she is a certified yoga instructor. And on the 9th, we have like move your body or do yoga or stretch for 20 minutes. And at 5.30 a.m. for free, she is going to host a Zoom yoga session for all of us to join and have a moment. It is going to be 5.30 a.m. Eastern. We're probably gonna go till six, but she is going to host it. She's gonna walk us through everything. And I just love that she was so willing to give back. She's like, I would love to do this. This was all her idea. And now I'm just doing some of the coordinating with her. We will get the Zoom links in the description box for the next week so that you can join us. Let's get as many people. I know for some of you on the West Coast, it's gonna be very early, but what better way to spend time together in a different world than on Zoom doing a little yoga with my best friend and me. You will also see how not flexible I am. You're not allowed to judge, laugh, or make fun because that's not what we do here. We are kind, but um, I'm super excited about it. So keep looking in the description box all this week for all the details. You'll just need the Zoom link, your Zoom account, and you will join us. And Zoom is completely free to join. So we cannot wait for this and it's going to be a blast. All right, I am pulling into Williams-Sonoma. I'm probably gonna have to park for, I'm probably going to have to scour the streets for a parking spot just to pick up my order, but I will be with you all shortly, probably after my eyebrow appointment because I'm starving and I need to eat lunch. All right, I'll see you in a little bit. All right, friends, I am back. My eyebrows might be a little um, red. She did such a good job, like the shape is so good. She's also my facialist, so it's nice that she like takes care of my skin and my eyebrows. But, oh, I know someone will ask. So this is just like a bead of chain, nothing fancy. Um, this is from, the next two necklaces are Christina Bra Brawley recommendations, and now I love them. Um, this one is by Idol Ideal. Um, it is a lab-grown real diamond. And then this is by Pacharel. Um, it is all real emeralds. Christina has a K, and I have the C. But I just did like a little, quick little layering. If you have been following many Vlogmases, you know that there is always a big Williams Sonoma haul. Early on in Vlogmas, I stock up on all the things that I'm going to need for like Christmas breakfasts and everything, but I also grabbed a couple other things that we just need. So I know we need more kitchen towels and these are our favorites. And my mom yelled at me at Thanksgiving around not having dishcloths, so I bought dishcloths. And then while I was perusing the towels, look how cute these were by Ina Garden. They say they cook like a pro, so I picked those up as well. And also the proceeds go to No Kid Hungry. Um, so we're kind of stocked up on towels for a little bit, which is super helpful. Um, I got some of our favorite, favorite maple syrup. This maple syrup is just out of this world. It is hard to get into though. And then I always make Steven in the winter pumpkin pancakes. And these are amazing, the spice pecan pumpkin. And he also loves the gingerbread. And when we have family stay with us, I always make these for them. So I wanted to stock up. And then I got a gingerbread cookie mix. I got this as a fun little um, extra dolly support. 
Uh, this is her sugar cookie mix, so I have that. I got a, this is new this year, a mocha hot chocolate with the gingerbread cookies. I am, I don't have good gingerbread cookie cutters, so I got those. And then I got a gingerbread house kit. I have wanted, and I, it's been hard to find certain places, but Gabby has a new cookbook. I love, her recipes are some of my favorite. Take it easy. So it's like for zero stress cooking, so I grabbed that. And then lastly, I grabbed these little mug toppers that I just thought were so adorable for on top of coffee mugs. I don't know when we'll use them. I'll probably save them for Christmas. Um, but yeah, that's my little Williams Sonoma haul today. All right, I have to change into something more comfortable and I need to eat something. I am already a little sore from my workout. I haven't messed with moving these around yet. So for today, we're just going to keep them here. But day four, tomorrow will be day five already. I use this all the time. This is the Mario Badescu um, Gentle Foaming Cleanser. I also really love their toner. Pour some sugar on me in the name of love. More gummies, which I love their gummies so much. These are the Raspberry Eiffel Towers. They're so good. They're so good. Let's do a little Saks Fifth Avenue. I've been very happy with this calendar. Uh, pricey, but top-notch products. Day four. Ooh, what is it? Salwasu First Care Activating Serum. I'm excited about that. The products are so next level that you know it's going to be good. All right, that is done. You were all equally confused with me yesterday trying to put this together. Day four. Okay. Is one of these. Does it? Okay. We have an oil. Oh, it looks like it's red there, but it's just gold. All right, I think we're putting this together correctly. I am not sure. Um, we will find out eventually. All right, day four. Do me a favor and have, be, have day four so I don't have to pull it all apart. Uh, day four, day four, day four, day four, day four. Right here. Oh, this is a different color. Uh, niche. Uh, that smells amazing. It kind of has like a little bit of a soapy smell, which I really appreciate. It's gorgeous. This must be just based off of the um, packaging and the color because they don't typically really do colored candles. Have a holly dolly Christmas. It's the best time of the year. I don't know if there'll be snow. All right, no empty boxes this year, but some sort of candies. I will save those for later. She is coming through better this year. Um, if you didn't see last year, like most days the boxes were empty. So we're having a much better Time Dolly. Making the Brussels sprouts, just prepping them. Stephen and I, with the extra stocks, are gonna put them up in the woods for the deer. And also, very loudly, so I apologize, playing Samantha Joe's vlog mess. So, when you have your Brussels sprouts on the stock, sometimes the ends break off enough that you don't really have to trim them. This one isn't breaking off as nicely as others have in the past, so. Trimming off the end if I need to, and then having them. And then what we're going to do is I'm gonna line a baking sheet with foil. 
We're gonna salt and pepper them, and then I'm gonna make a little balsamic glaze with just some honey and some balsamic vinegar. And I'm going to throw those together. I'm gonna throw that on them once they're all cooked. I'm sorry, the TV is loud. So I'm going to go ahead and finish this. Super simple, I'm just going to top this with a splash of olive oil, some black pepper. We like a lot of pepper. And I am just going to give those a toss. So, if anyone ever tells you to put on your balsamic vinegar before you put any vegetable in the oven, they're lying to you. Balsamic vinegar has sugar in it. It will end up burning and you'll just have a disgusting mess. Anytime you're using balsamic vinegar, never put it on before you cook. We just need a small cookie sheet. Also, you all need this in your life. It's amazing. It holds all of my foil, all of my saran wrap. I love it, I love it, I love it. I just put these in. Now, this is a step that I always do. I make sure if I had to cut them in half that that cut side is facing down so you get some really good caramelization on that part. So that's just like my little thing that I always do. You could totally not, you don't have to do this. But it's important to me. And Steven likes his Brussels sprouts crispy. Okay. Alexa, set timer for 15 minutes. All right, that is at 425. I'm gonna toss them and probably do another 10 to 15 on them. Babe, will you throw these stocks up for the deer? Friends, for this glaze, I really do not have a recipe. I do, well, I guess it's in a measuring cup. Uh, I have maybe a quarter cup of balsamic vinegar. I'm gonna add that much honey. I always hit it again with just, a cr not as much this time, just a crack of pepper a pinch of salt. I can't find any of my old whisks. So I'm just gonna whisk it with a fork. Like you want it to kind of, I hope you can see that. You kind of want it to coat lightly your fork. That's how you know you have like a good consistency. If it runs off, add a little bit more honey. If it doesn't go clear, add a little bit more vinegar or even thin it out with a little drop of hot water. But like this is perfect. Like that is perfect because you can still see it. It's like a thin layer on the fork. I know you all want to see Steven. He is tied up right now. Um, and I have to pack and get ready for tomorrow and also pre-film a couple things. So I'm actually going to end today where it is. I linked the whole Williams Sonoma Hall for you. We're gonna make dinner, we're gonna hang out. I'm going to still be filming and I'm gonna be packing. But I will see you all tomorrow. Take care of yourself, take care of others, be kind, kindness is free, give it to everyone. Until next time, which will be tomorrow. Bye bye